so today I'm going to be sharing with you a Hobby Lobby haul. So I went to Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago and they were clearancing their yarn. And actually a lovely subscriber actually commented on one of my videos that Hobby Lobby's yarn was on clearance. And so thank you so much for letting me know. I was so excited to find that out. And I had to go. And then I went a couple days ago to Hobby Lobby and they clearanced another aisle that I guess they had not got to yet. So they had even more yarn on clearance. So this is kind of a couple weeks worth of me going to Hobby Lobby and picking up a few things here and there. And I'm super excited about this. So let me show you guys what I got. So because I have such a problem with buying yarn and I don't have much room left for yarn, I've been literally stashing my yarn in project bags. And so it looks like I'm like working on a blanket, but I'm not. I'm literally stashing yarn in it because I have nowhere else to put yarn. I actually wonder like whenever I get married, because by the way, I'm single, I really wonder if my future husband's going to be able to deal with this very well. Sometimes I kind of wonder stuff like that. I mean, I, I have a lot of yarn and I just really hope it's not going to be a problem <laughs> because it, it, the yarn's going to win out in that one. I'm sorry, but I cannot not have yarn. Like, I'm probably going to die with having a bunch of yarn. Like, I'm never going to use up enough yarn. Oh, my yarn up. I think a lot of crafters are like that, though. But I think I'm going to have to get more creative on where I stash my yarn. But, yeah. So, right now I'm stashing it in project bags. So, it looks like I'm working on a project, but I'm not. Well, I have projects. It's just these are full of yarn. Anywho, so... <laughs> The first yarn that I found, and I was so excited about this yarn because I've seen this yarn a couple different times and it was not on clearance, obviously, and I thought it looked so unique. So this, of course, is Yarn B Hobby Lobby's brand Blended Bliss, and it's so pretty. I just love like the, it's not really tweed, but it's like a, another color twisted with a main, main color. So this is in the shade clay. So it's kind of a neutral, almost a brownish rosy color. Cause it kind of looks a little rosy to me and it's just, it's so pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. We're going to see that kind of a lot in this video because I kind of bought a lot of this yarn with just the idea of I love this yarn. I really, really want it. Typically, I buy yarn with a plan. Not this trip. But I really love this yarn. And I got one, two, three. I got four of them. And they have, I think, 443 yards. So that's actually quite a bit of yardage. But I still don't know what I'm going to make out of them. But I'm really excited about this yarn because it's just so pretty. Another yarn I got is the Baby Bee, so this is the Baby line, Darling Deer, and I also thought this one was super pretty because it's yellow and gray, and I've really been loving yellow lately. I don't know if you can tell me on my shirt, I really like yellow lately. And I think yellow and gray is just so pretty and sophisticated in my mind. It's just, I don't know, I've always thought that, I just always, always love those two colors together. And I got... Four of them. And this is in the shade Sunny Stroll, which is really cute. So I'm pumped about this yarn too. I think I almost want to make a cardigan out of it because I think I have enough. There's 295 yards and I got four of them. So I think that's about enough to make a cute little cropped cardigan. Because I read online that card like cropped is still really in this fall and winter and knitted um, items are also really in. So I think I could knit something really pretty out of that. And then actually forgot I got this. I just remembered. So this one is the Yarn B Must Be Merino Oran yarn. And this is in Lilac Smoke and there's 153 yards and I got four of them. And this is such a pretty color. I love this purple. I just, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of purple. I've said that in, in, in almost every video, I think. I'm not a big fan of purple, and I always add the word but at the end because usually it's a, a shade of purple that I decide I like. But this is definitely a shade of purple I do like because it's a dusty lilac color. And I really just love me a dusty lilac color. I wear it a lot on my nails during the fall months because I just, I think it's really pretty for fall. So I am pretty excited. I don't know what I'm going to make out of this because there's only 600 yards. 
600 yards here. So that one's going to be interesting on what I can make out of this, but I think it's really, really pretty. So I saw this yarn and funny story about this yarn. This is the Yarn B 44th Street and this is in the shade Ruby. So this is a very like fine lacy type yarn. It has a halo to it. So I bought this yarn before in a very light pink shade and I tried to make something out of it and I hated this yarn because you cannot rip it out without you just splitting the yarn. Like it will not rip out because it has a halo to it. For some, Since it has such a halo, and by halo I mean like little flecks of yarn that stick out. They call it a halo. And so it will get caught into the strand so it won't rip out very well. So I, I knew that buying this, but now I'm kind of thinking, hmm, this is gonna be interesting because last time I got really angry at this yarn. But I have a really cute idea for it, so I think it's going to work out. So I actually got this in three colors. So I got it in the ruby shade. Uh, this is the pale teal shade, which is also super pretty. I also got the mustard shade. And I just think this screams fall. I really do. And so I'm thinking a striped cardigan out of this yarn would be so pretty because it would be so lightweight and you could kind of make it holy because it's just for fall and I live in Texas so I don't really need a ton of warmth in fall but I'm thinking if I can make it really like lacy I think it would be really pretty especially with the halo because the halo will cover up the holes a little bit so it won't be like as springy holy look so I think it's going to work out well, especially with the stripes. And each one has over 500 yards in it, so I think I'll have enough. But I'm kind of super excited about this, except I'm really not looking forward to working with the yarn. Unless I'm thinking about maybe knitting with it. So I'll have to see what happens, but I'm kind of excited about it. But I'm also kind of dreading it because, like I said, my previous experience with the yarn was not good. But I just thought these three colors together were so pretty. I kind of had to get them. I knew I'd regret it if I didn't. I also saw this yarn and I love tweed. I think tweed is just so pretty and this is a navy blue tweed with multicolors and I just think it's so pretty. They're different dye lots so they don't look completely the same but I don't think they look that different actually. I kept holding them up to the store and asking my mom like do these look different and I don't think they look very different so I think I could actually use them together but this is just the navy tweed shade. I don't know if they're getting rid of it but I only have 500 yards here which kind of blows because I don't know really what I'm going to be able to make with this. I think a sweater vest would be really really adorable but I don't know if I have enough for that. I hope I do but I don't think I will. But that's okay if I don't. I'll come up with something else for it. I was super excited to find this yarn on clearance. This is the Yarn B Yarn ID, and this is in Dijon. And I'm super excited about this yarn. This was the only skein they had, but my mom's been using this yarn for a blanket. And I love the feel of this yarn. It is so soft, and I love the colors they have. They're all very neutral colors, but they use like actual colors. Like this is a mustard color, but they kind of make it look more like a neutral mustard. Same with like their, I think they're pink. They have a purple, a blue. They just kind of have like a neutralness to them and very, um, I want to say monotone, but that's not the word I'm looking for. They have a very muted, there's the word I'm looking for. They have a very muted look to them, which I just think is really nice and modern looking because a lot of people don't really love bright colors, except I did read in Vogue that bright colors are making a comeback this year on runway. And I guess for the fall runway show, fashion show, they did a lot of neon colors because they really are trying to make a statement. So apparently color and making a statement with color is coming in trend right now, according to Vogue at least. But I'm super excited about this yarn. Even though I only have one skein, I had to get it and I'm so happy. And I don't think they're not selling anymore. I think they were just clearancing um, skeins that only had like a 
different dye lot than the rest because most of the time people most not all most people only don't buy just one skein typically people buy more than one skein and they try to match the dye lots and sometimes there's like a little loner that doesn't have a sister or brother with the same dye lot and I think those were kind of the ones they were clearancing so since it is fall I really really love mustard and I don't know if this is considered mustard. It's actually in the shade Honey. And this is the Soft Secret by Yarn B. So it's kind of the knockoff version of Caron Simply Soft. And I don't know if I just like love this gold mustard color in fall, but I reach for it a ton. And so they have two skeins left. They are different dye lots. You can tell a little bit, but I'm thinking about striping it with a different color so then it wouldn't be as noticeable. But I am super excited about this yarn. I think it's super, I think it's really nice and I do love the color because my eyes just gravitate towards this color during the fall. And I have no idea what I'm going to make with this, but all I know is I think it's going to be striped. And I might stripe it with cream, actually, because I think cream would look really pretty with it. Speaking of single skeins, I found this line of yarn and they only had one skein of each color, but it's Breathe Deep. So I got the shade Charcoal Gray, Soft Coral, Teal, and ooh, Dusty Purple. And I just think these colors actually look really pretty together and I have no idea what I'm going to make out of these four colors but I just know I'm going to use them all together because they look really pretty together and I just think it works because they're all single skeins. So anywho guys, that is my haul for today. I have been trying to buy a definitely more fall yarn because it is almost fall and I know I already put away all of my spring and summer yarn in storage so now I have all of my fall yarn out so I can start focusing on just fall make. So I got all my chunky yarn out and everything so I'm hoping that I'll be more inspired to make more fall items and not so much summer items. But yes, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys went to Hobby Lobby's clearance, what was your favorite find? Did you find a yarn you've been wanting to try for ages and it was on clearance and you were just so happy you were able to finally try it because that's happened to me multiple times and I'm so happy that I've been able to try some really cool and unique yarns just because it was on clearance. Anywho, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!